they do a lot of this. That's when we get blurry. Welcome to day seven of 21 in the Florida Keys. This has been an amazing stay at the KOA on Sugarloaf Key, and we're now headed to Fiesta Key. I don't know if we look happy and relaxed, but we sure are. This was a week in paradise. We've never ever paid to stay at a KOA before. No, this is basically our first KOA experience and I'm sure it's probably one of the nicest. It's brand new and it's in the Keys, so it's got a lot of good stuff going for it. The location certainly helps, but- 20 miles from Key West. Coming into this KOA, we got, I'm gonna say, we got the number one best campsite. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Except for the ones that are on the water. Yeah, pretty close. So I can't say number one, I retract that. They have a lot of campsites here. I mean a lot, like just looking at their map, I was overwhelmed. It was like they have 10 sites, which is maybe rare for the Keys, I'm not sure. But then they have like standard sites, which are beautiful. And then they have like perimeter sites, which, which are, are beautiful. beautiful. Then they have uh, pull through sites, which are beautiful. beautiful. And those I think all have a patio. So it's like a pull through with a paver patio. And then they give you that table and chair set, which is great to have in the keys. And then they have kayak sites, which basically means it's on the water, but there's mangroves, but they give you a little access chute to uh, put your kayak in. So you have water access. And then they have ocean sites, which you're just basically looking at the beach and the ocean. Uh, pretty amazing because that's right where the sunrise is. Yeah, and what makes everything here so spectacular is the amazing landscaping that they've invested in here. They just finished in September of 2021, I think, and it's now May of 2022. The landscaping blows my mind every time we walk around. Like, it just doesn't get old. Um, and we were lucky on our site. We have nice patio paver everything. So it's super clean. It's yeah, we, we picked out a site for Louis, basically, because we, we wanted him to be comfortable. We doubled up his pen outside, so he had this huge pen. And if he has, like, grass or rock underneath, I think he, he does a lot more digging. And um, I don't know. It seems like the cement or the pavers does really well with Louis. He likes to lay on it. And it's really good for our workouts, too. Nice flat foot surfaces. But do you want to know the worst part of our stay? I bet you can guess. The no see -ums. The no see -ums. The biting midges. The whatever you want to call them. But they're little tiny flies, like no see -ums. They look like flies. But you can actually see them. You can see them. They look like... Biting you at all times. They look like flakes of pepper. Yeah. And they bite. And so it feels like a mosquito bite, but like an instant bite. And they actually fill up with blood too. So like they are feasting on your body Our and soul. legs look like twister boards with all the red dots, like nonstop chicken pox. Twister, twister, The twister. game, the, the board game? Yeah. Was it called Twister? Yeah, it was called Twister. It's, yeah. It's the, a small price to pay. So in the morning and the night, they're the worst, dusk and dawn. Oh, and that reminds me of the dog park because they were really bad at the dog park. But we went to the dog park every single day which uh, was small, but it was fenced in. It had AstroTurf, which was nice. It had a table with an umbrella, and it was a good space. Yeah. Louis, Louis met a lot of, a lot of friends here. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of playing. So something that's unusual we heard about this KOA compared to others is that they have a full service bar and restaurant in the pool area. So they have a patio, a pool, and Oh, it's an Airstream bar, which is kind of cool. Yeah. The Airstream, half of an Airstream. And in the pool section, they have um, hammocks and like beautiful seating with fireplaces and uh, bean bags. Bocce ball. Bocce ball. Like it was just, it's just a pretty amazing, it feels like if this was all inclusive, I'd feel like we're in like a Mexican all inclusive resort. Very yeah. tropical. Yeah. So it's just, we, I don't know, it's weird to say, but like hands down, this is the nicest place we've ever stayed we're, in an RV. We're glad. The whole time coming into it, we're like, should we 
drop the money on it? Should we save the money and not yeah. go? And we're really glad we did because as soon as we pulled up, we were in vacation mode and it instantly transformed us into a, this is how the keys should feel. And so basically this is the most expensive campsite we've ever paid for and it's about $130 a night. And you know, if you think about it, it sounds crazy at first because you add up a week, it's like $1,000. If you're a KOA member, uh, you get 10% off. So we signed up for that, which was $30 and then you got a hundred bucks off. But compared to sites that are $100 that aren't in the Keys, or some places are even $200 in the Keys, I thought it was actually pretty reasonable and it's not that busy here. There's like half capacity during the week and then on the weekends it fills up a little bit. And it's only like 20, 30 minute drive to Key West, which honestly we only went there one time because we just enjoyed it here so much. And we're really more of like introverted people. We love to hang out at home, we're homebodies. We love to just cook and sit on our patio, listen to the music that's at the bar right across the street. Oh, uh, live music. There was live music. Mm -hmm. um, Bingo and trivia and stuff like that. So they really make it feel like a, uh, a fun resort feel. And we forgot to mention that there is a really sweet restaurant, like literally across the street, a quarter mile from here, um, which is called Mangrove Mama's. And uh, we went there a couple of times just because it was so close. Good, great, uh, Keys, beachy type of vibe. Island food. I would say the food was decent. The menu selection was really big. So there's something for everyone. But what really makes that place special is the location, the convenience. And we could bring Louis with. And the atmosphere. Yeah. Like it was, it, it felt like a, a 40 year old run family business, which it is. It is. And it's a very fun location. And that was cool to just have that uh, easy access to, to check out. Yeah. Update on our rules for the week. Happy Saturday, everyone. It might not be Saturday when you're watching this, but it's Saturday today and we're headed to the Keys. Yeah, not just any Saturday. It's Keys Saturday. We're very excited because we're doing a little bit of a work vacation, I guess you could call it. A working it. vacation. Yeah, and we're gonna stay uh, for three weeks in the Florida Keys at two different RV parks. We've been to the Keys before, but only for four days when we first started in 2019. So this is gonna feel like a much more thorough experience. Yeah, we're gonna do it right this time. I feel like in 2019, we were still in the hyper savings mode. We had just left, we had just quit our corporate jobs, and we had just started our own business. And we were in the van, and with the motorhome, we weren't you know, going and exploring. We did not have the e-bikes at the time. So we really just stayed at the park. We spent one day going down to Key West, and that was really it. But anyway, on this trip, we have a few guidelines in place. Rule number one, <laughs> toes, toes in the sand every day. Rule number two, sunsets or sunrises every day. One or the other? One or the other. Rule number three, we're actually forcing ourselves to designate activity money that we need to spend. Like yes. not going out and eating or having drinks, like actually going out and doing some sort of a paid activity because we're that bad at going out and doing things. Like this is rule number three, so just to make sure it happens. We did touch the sand every day. We did see a sunset and or sunrise every day. We did not spend any money on excursions, so we failed there. We failed big time on that. Uh, Chris got food poisoning for two days, so let's not forget about that. Yeah, that I was crippling and moaning in pain for an entire night like I've never felt before. It was horrible. I was sitting outside trying to enjoy a beer and she was moaning so <laughs> loud in here. It was distracting. It was... I'm kidding. No, you're not. No, I really was. I really was. It was horrible. But luckily it, it, it got better the next day and then the next day it was a little better. So I'd say three days total, it affected me. Um, luckily, there was no projectile vomiting. So that was a plus. So there's probably a ton more stuff. I, we just wanted to word vomit some 
of our thoughts about this place because it was so great. And this is a bit of a vacation for us, so we didn't really even do a lot of filming. Um, we wanted to kind of just enjoy this uh, time. Little, little time for ourselves, for we sure. We needed a little break, so that week was just perfect. Yeah, and now we're off to Fiesta Key for two weeks, and believe it or not, Fiesta Key is $20 a night with our Thousand Trails membership. So we're paying like, I think, $350 for two weeks in the Keys. That's insanity. So it was about $1,000 to stay here at the KOA for one week. And for like a third of that, we're going to be able to stay for two weeks in a less nice resort, but still in the Keys, right on the water. And uh, I'm excited to see what that looks like. And it worked out really well logistically because prior to this spot, we were at an Encore location in South Florida. So the KOA was actually a bridge between the two Encore locations because it's kind of complicated the way Thousand Trails gets. We won't get too far into it, but if you know, you know. So we used this KOA to bridge that week. What she means is you can stay up to two weeks in an Encore resort and then you need to be out for a week and then you can go back to an Encore resort for up to two weeks. Yes, so we couldn't just go straight to Fiesta Key. We needed a week somewhere, so we came to the KOA. Yeah, 